Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World video for big news and today we've got huge news, not big news, huge. Because in today's video we're going to be talking about some news that came out through the Hollywood Reporter article that just came out recently and in it has revealed that not only is a certain um, film coming along, but a certain writer from the past of our Jurassic franchise is making a big return because in this article, it is confirmed that as of expecting in 2025, we could be seeing a brand new Jurassic World film written by none other than David Kep. So I've gone through the whole articles at the moment and such, and there isn't too much to go through, but there is some confirmation on the upcoming Jurassic Park film, which is slated to be expected in 2025, and I don't really know how I feel about that just yet, but we're going to read through everything we know right at the moment. So let's get into it. The first section states that the studio is deep into development of an all new Jurassic World movie and has David Kep back in the keyboard. Kep is also known as the writer for the original 1993 Jurassic Park, famously directed by Steven Spielberg, as well as its sequel 1997's Jurassic Park The Lost World. The project which has been flying under the radar is far enough along that the script is in a well-liked shape and that the studio is whispering of a possible 2025 release date. There is no director on board, but Frank Marshall, Steven Spielberg, and Patrick Crowley are returning as executive producers for this one. I believe Spielberg is attached to Amblin as he has been in the past. However, it says that there is no director on board at the moment and casting is still ongoing and that we should be expecting a release date as of 2025 which i'm going to be honest guys from that information right there i don't think we're going to see this in 2025 unless it's really rushed but i think it could be possible but i don't think it's going to happen in 2025 i think most likely it'll be 2026 because if they don't have a director on at the moment and from other news that they've that they have it's slated that we should be expecting production to be in quarter 2 or quarter 3 of 2024 so at the latest 4 months from now we should be expecting them to start working on this for production purposes but if they don't have a director already at this point i don't think that's going to be valid for a release date of 2025 but I could be wrong. Like, I I am a new I am a filmmaker myself, like a young filmmaker just st starting. But I don't think it would be logical for us to expect to have something that soon. At least that's just my opinion. Another section of the article states that it's unclear what form the relaunch is taking. It is known to be launching a new Jurassic era per sources with an all new storyline. Now, it doesn't state when this will be taking place, if this is going to be post-Dominion or pre-Dominion. After all, we haven't had any real updates on what they expect to do after Jurassic World Dominion, since we know that while that film was quite controversial for most of the fan base and such, there's still loads of stories to tell afterwards, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be more interested at the moment in maybe diving into some of the prequel sort of lines after all that's what they're doing with the chaos theory show that's coming out pretty soon i'm expecting at least that's what we're led to believe so if that's the case then we could be expecting this to be a prequel but maybe it'll be setting up a new trilogy i'm not sure maybe this will start i don't know but i am feeling quite confident in this at the moment. I don't know what to expect from that. There isn't too much to say other than this, but all in all, I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't know what else to talk about. That's all we have at the moment, and I gotta say, I am very excited about this. And what tone it'll take, I have no idea. I really hope that they go for a more darker tone than they did with Dominion, because that was one of my big disappointments with that movie, how it sort of abandoned the whole darker tone that Fallen Kingdom was giving us. And 
Same with The Lost World. It's funny how for both trilogies, the second film went for the darker tone and sort of teased us with more of it, and then the third ones of the trilogies decided to mostly abandon them, like especially Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic World Dominion, it had some elements stay, but not enough for my liking. But that's all we have to talk about right now. In terms of what this could mean for like the franchise as a whole, as I said, it could be another trilogy is on the way and this is the first of the trilogy, or maybe this is a standalone. Who knows? If it's a prequel, I have a betting it's going to be a standalone. If this is a sequel to Dominion, then, well, the possibilities are endless. But also, I think that maybe we could be seeing more in terms of games. After all, there was, we did just talk about the news of Frontier um, having some new games on the way that are expected between financial years of 2025 and financial year 2027 so there's a possibility for all those who are expecting for maybe a Jurassic World Evolution 3 game now we have more evidence to say so and now I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to do a video on my opinion for Jurassic World Evolution 3 but guys what is your thoughts on this are you excited for Jurassic Park 7 or are you thinking that we've done enough and we don't need another trilogy? Personally, I'm all for new stories. I personally want to share so many of my stories and such, but gotta get up in the rankings first for a young filmmaker like myself. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for and the bell for more notifications and more content. And also leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Stay safe, and until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.